James Moriarty, the mastermind behind some of the most devious plots in British history, is a cunning and ruthless strategist who always stays ahead of his opponents. But how can you be as cunning as he is? In this video, we'll share some tips on how to develop a strategic mind and become a master manipulator like Moriarty. Cut to clips from the anime showing Moriarty manipulating people and situations to achieve his goals. The first step to becoming cunning like Moriarty is to develop a strategic mindset. Moriarty is always thinking several steps ahead, anticipating his opponent's moves and planning his own accordingly. To do this, you need to be able to see the big picture and analyze the situation from different angles. Here are some tips. 1. Anticipate your opponent's next move. Moriarty is a master of predicting his opponent's next move. He studies his targets closely, learns their weaknesses and motivations, and then uses this knowledge to manipulate them. To do this, you need to be observant and analytical. Pay attention to people's body language, tone of voice, and choice of words. Look for patterns and inconsistencies in their behavior. Try to understand their goals and motivations. This will help you anticipate their next move and plan your own accordingly. 2. Use logic and reason. Moriarty is a logical thinker who uses reason and deduction to solve complex problems. He doesn't let emotions cloud his judgment and always stays calm under pressure. To be cunning like him, you need to develop your logical thinking skills. Learn to identify and analyze problems, break them down into smaller parts, and then use logic and reason to find solutions. Practice critical thinking by questioning assumptions and looking for evidence to support your arguments. 3. Be adaptable. Moriarty is a master of adaptation. He can change his plans on the fly, adjust his strategy to new information, and improvise when necessary. To be cunning like him, you need to be adaptable and flexible. Be willing to change your plans when the situation requires it. Learn to think on your feet and improvise when necessary. Be open to new information and adjust your strategy accordingly. The second step to becoming cunning like Moriarty is to master the art of manipulation. Moriarty is a master of persuasion who can make people do what he wants without them even realizing it. He knows how to appeal to people's emotions, desires, and fears, and how to use this knowledge to his advantage. Here are some tips. 1. Build rapport. Moriarty is a master of building rapport. He knows how to make people feel comfortable and at ease, and how to establish a connection with them. To be cunning like him, you need to learn how to build rapport with people. Start by finding common ground, showing genuine interest in their lives, and being a good listener. This will help you establish trust and make them more receptive to your ideas. 2. Use emotional appeals. Moriarty is a master of emotional appeals. He knows how to appeal to people's emotions, desires, and fears, and how to use this knowledge to his advantage. To be cunning like him, you need to learn how to use emotional appeals to persuade people. Use language that triggers emotions, such as fear, anger, or hope. Show people how your ideas will benefit them emotionally, such as by fulfilling their dreams. 3. Create a sense of urgency. Moriarty is a master of creating a sense of urgency. He knows how to make people feel like they need to act quickly and decisively. To be cunning like him, you need to learn how to create a sense of urgency when you want people to take action. This could be by setting a deadline, emphasizing the consequences of an action, or framing the situation as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The third step to becoming cunning like Moriarty is to develop your own personal style. Moriarty is a unique character with his own distinct way of thinking and acting. To be cunning like him, you need to develop your own personal style that fits your personality and strengths. Here are some tips. 1. Be confident. Moriarty is a confident and self-assured character. He knows his own strengths and weaknesses, and he's not afraid to take risks. To be cunning like him, you need to develop your own confidence. Believe in yourself and your abilities. Don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. 2. Be assertive. Moriarty is an assertive character who knows how to take charge. He's not afraid to speak his mind and assert his authority. To be cunning like him, you need to learn how to be assertive. Speak up when you have something to say. Be confident in your ideas and opinions. Don't let others push you around. 3. Be patient. Moriarty is a patient character who knows how to play the long game. He's willing to wait and bide his time until the right opportunity presents itself. To be cunning like him, you need to learn how to be patient. Don't rush into things. 
Take your time to analyze the situation and plan your next move. Be willing to wait for the right opportunity to present itself. By developing a strategic mindset, mastering the art of manipulation, and developing your own personal style, you can become cunning like Moriarty. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your newfound skills wisely and ethically. And always remember that Moriarty, as fictional as he may be, is not a role model. Thank you for watching.